it's time to discuss about the benefits. The first one is reduce risk of the failures once the system is transferred to the live operations. Obviously, yes. If you test the application from for n number of times and launched into the market, so there will be the least probability that the product will be failed when it comes into the market. Here we can take an example of Google. Suppose I entered the URL www.google.com and press enter. The Google page will open on my desktop in my browser. Taking the Google logo into the mind, starting from the first letter G till the last letter E, the each and every dimension of the alphabet with the color combination is tested through Google n number of times. If they found the position, the axis, and the color combination is appropriate, then they launched Google into the market. So that's why we can say if we test the uh, if we test the application the n number of times, then there will be the least probability for the risk of failures. Demonstrative proof that business requirement have been met. The business requirement is a very very delicate part for the each and every organization. Like take an example of again the logo of any of the company. If the designer may skip any of the part in designing a logo like the size, the position, the color combination of the company's logo that can impact the business to the organization that is a business requirement like take an example of HCL from the past two or three decades HCL have a match that HCL that will be in the blue color in the caps it's a image in our mind if it can be small HCL we can't recognize it that it's a Hindustan computer limited. So that is a business requirement that can impact any of the organization. Assurance that system will function appropriately with existing legacy systems where required and will integrate with other systems as necessary. Here the system means the system means the complete software package. Complete software package that includes a combination of six to seven web pages for any of the website. If any of the bug, any of the fault will be found on any of the pages, means we have the fault in our systems. Like, take an example. I have to buy an insurance policy for my car. I browse the website of any of the XYZ company. And for issuing that particular policy, insurance policy, I have to go through with the four web pages. Once I have go through with the four web pages, complete that process, then the policy will be issued to me. Suppose I am on the third page. At the third page, I have to submit the amount and press the submit button. And that submit button will not navigate to me to the last page that issue me the policy for my car. That will be the fault in my system. That's why it said assurance that system will function appropriately with existing legacy systems wherever required. Next point. Assurance that the users for which the solution was designed are able to operate productively. Obviously, yes. Each and every software package is designed for the end users. Or we can say the target users. If the target users cannot use it effectively or easily, means there is some leakage in our testing part. So that's why here the testing help us to fill that leakage and assure us that whatever the software package is going to live into the market, that can assure that the product can be used by the users product. 